Hi guys and welcome to Carflix. Today I'm going to be testing out this. It's sea foam. So without further ado, let's crack on with that video. I've heard really good things about this. I'm going to use it on my Peugeot RCZ 2 litre HDI to give it a nice clean. I'm going to put some into the fuel filter as recommended on the can. I'm going to pop into the fuel tank and I'm going to see if I see any improvements in the car at all. So in the RCZ HDI, really easy. All you do first is remove your engine cover. Once you've done that, you've now got your fuel filter here. You remove four screws, one, two, three and four. And then you're just going to remove this high pressure fuel hose here. Really simple again, you just pop this middle bit up here and then you just put a screwdriver and just wedge it out. And now we're going to lift out the fuel filter. Pop that off like that. And now what you're going to do, we're going to kind of move this out the way. Sorry, I'm doing this one hand. And we're going to let that fuel filter kind of drain off. And then I'm going to try and find something to suck this diesel out here. Because we're going to replace that diesel with snow foam. What? So let's leave this for a little while and I'll go and get, find something. Right, so I ended up just soaking all that out using some rags. I gave it a good clean inside as well. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start pouring the sea foam in. So this is completely full. Now before I show you this repair, I just wanted to point out to you that only 8% of people that watch this video actually subscribe. So please, if I have saved you some money, hit that subscribe button, it's totally free and it'd really help me out. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna see how much that pushes up with a filter. Right, so that's everything back together. I ended up using a full can of this. It fitted perfectly in when I put the filter back in. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna prime it, which will force diesel into here and hopefully squeeze some of the air out of it. And now I've got a quarter of a tank of fuel. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a full one of these into the fuel tank. So now what I've got to do, I've got to turn her over, uh, let her idle for two minutes, and then I've got to let the car stand for at least 15 minutes to let the sea foam do its thing and, and soak the injectors. So I'm gonna do that now. A few minutes later. So the car's now run for two minutes. I'm now gonna leave it for a while and then come back to it. Many months later. Right guys, so you actually joined me about a month later. I want to do an extended test and show you how smooth this car now runs. So I'm going to do an initial start up. And I want you to focus on how steady this idle is. Bear in mind, this is a dirty diesel. Look how solid now that needle is on the idle line. It is completely solid. I've also managed to get at least three more mpg she's a lot more economical it's just a hell of a difference so would i recommend this completely c foam really does work in the hdi diesel engine and i'm sure it'll work on your diesel engine too thanks ever so much for watching i hope you found this video helpful if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.